Hello everyone, Alex Noonan from Noonan Labs here, and today I will be discussing DLT Hub, which is a Python library that will assist you in doing your initial data ingestion or replication in a proof of concept project where I built a simple data ingestion pipeline from HubSpot to BigQuery using both DLT and Daxter. And this was a really easy project to get going and finish, so I'm excited to share it with you. Those of us that have done data engineering for a little bit know that doing replication and ingestion into your data warehouse isn't as trivial as it would seem initially. Uh, and this can be frustrating, especially if you're communicating with stakeholders and to like scope out how long it would take to ingest a new source and it isn't a matter of pressing a few buttons. And um, the issue with this often stems from uh, the SaaS trash that we've become accustomed to over the past 10 years, where a lot of them have unfinished or kind of weak APIs that make querying for analytical work uh, often a challenge. And uh, w also when you have so many sources, like at Linden, for example, we have 30 different source systems where work happens. And all of these APIs or systems have a different schemas, querying logic, authentication, uh, credentials, and quirks. So managing all that can be a challenge. Additionally, a lot of these APIs aren't set up to do airtight change data capture. I mean, ideally, we would just love to have a transaction log from every system of every CRUD operation, and then we could... Um, rebuild what we need later uh, but unfortunately that isn't the case um, and sometimes you need to push that logic downstream into your data warehouse which can be a, a challenge as well but that's kind of the name of the game when it comes to data engineering so here we are in vs code where i'll go over some of the key elements to this project um, first you're going to see uh, in the side here the folder uh, where we have our daxter project and then these are our Daxter assets in here and other resources. And then finally, this is where our DLT sources are in another folder. Um, so when you do integrate DLT with one of their verified sources, there's several command line codes you gotta run. And once you do that, it'll generate these um, templated files in here that um, in addition to the helpers and the settings, we have our asset initiations uh, for these DLT sources. And uh, if you need to adjust these or do any custom queries, uh, the DLT logic supports that. Um, so integrating it with Daxter is quite simple, as you can see. Um, here's our definitions file, and this is our DLT file. Uh, you do have to do some uh, package imports, but uh, when it's all said and done, it's pretty simple to get all this configured. And then I ran it over here in Daxter and all the different HubSpot elements are now in our BigQuery database. Um, so yeah, that's a quick overview. Uh, and like I said, it's pretty simple and easy to get started and get going. So I recommend you check it out. Finally, you need to think about your role as a data team and how you add value. Ingestion and replication tools can be expensive, and sometimes the cost doesn't make sense for your team. Uh, using a SaaS solution like Fivetran makes sense if you're integrating an ancillary data source or something that doesn't have a lot of volume to it, so the cost won't be that bad. But if you're using it for like your production database or several systems that a lot of work happens, the uh, monthly active rows will be really high and your bill will be crazy. So oftentimes it makes sense uh, in your team's budget and depending on what other projects you have going on to do some custom data pipelines uh, in Python to get the data into the warehouse. Otherwise, using a tool like DLT Hub can save you a ton of time and will get the data in there, account for schema evolution, and allows you to focus more on delivering value, which is often doing analysis, building dashboards, uh, doing machine learning, or simply doing process automation to make the organization move smoother. And that's just something you got to think about. I know in the future I'll be incorporating DLT Hub because um, it was a 
it was pretty simple to get this HubSpot implementation going. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn if you have any questions or want to connect on anything.